So, Chef Real Raw here, sharing another recipe. What can you eat? You don't just eat lettuce and cucumber, do you? No, I sure don't, man. To all you, uh, to all you anybody's out there, this is a cool burrito you can make. So I'm boiling up some rice. This is kind of like um, out of my head, kind of, because I've had some vegan burritos whilst out, so I'm kind of putting my kind of um, thing on a burrito. Uh, mushrooms, which I'm going to water fry, an aubergine, which I'm going to water fry, red pepper, onion, I'm just going to water fry those together, store bought salsa, uh, store bought red pepper hummus. We're going to stick in some seasonal baby leaf salad with that, and got the old black beans. And here's a tortillas. As it rolls off the tongue, tortillas. So I'll slightly warm them up in the oven. So rice is going there. I'm gonna get the old wok out now. We're styling. Let's start with this pepper. How do you break into a pepper? Easy. You grab it like so, and you push the stalk down in, and you rip it apart like so, and you remove. Hey presto. How easy was that, man? Almost like doing the old uh, avocado stone. Piece of. Keep it carved, baby. Keep it carved. So we're just gonna like chop this up any old hour. Not like small or in strips or anything in particular. What's the old fingers? This knife's getting a bit blunt, actually. One I bought in uh, in Portugal. So. Just chop it up. This is good fun. This is as much as I like eating my food as I like prepping it. I mean, I could have kind of you could have chopped. You can throw anything. This you can do like um you could do like a sort of a vegetable kind of like rice burrito, kind of like um say like broccoli and carrot and potatoes or something. Stick some um some kind of sauce in there, whatever. Make your own guacamole or something. I did kind of. It didn't have any good avocados, and the store bought guacamole had milk in it, so that was a no no. But yeah, easy to make your own guacamole. At least you know what's going in it, eh? At least I know what's going in this. So, to anyone out there, perhaps wanting you know, to turn veggie or to whatever, even if you don't want to turn veggie or vegan, you just want to help help yourself and help your body you know, a bit more healthier, and you want to start eating a bit more healthier. This is how you do it. You don't go really hungry, you don't go start skipping meals, and drinking all these sort of slim fasty protein shake stuff as meal replacements. Sure, 100% man. You're going to lose weight in a week or two, but I can guarantee you'll get super hungry and you'll end up binging. And you'll put all that like lost weight on again. So just eat right, take your time, don't expect results in two weeks. Expect results like I'd say within like a year or something, is you need to transition over because your body's, you're so used to eating certain foods that it's going to take time. It's going to take time to get rid of cravings. Like I've got a mate I was talking to on Facebook the other day. Like he, he went vegan and now, uh, hello Adam. <laughs> uh, for anyway, he, he slipped the other day, he went and he had some meat or something, which is no bother, man. Everyone's kind of like, once you're on this path and you slip a little bit, you, you know where you're headed. You know in your heart where you're headed and what the right thing is to do. So once you start, that's a start. You're on the path if you ask me. So a few little hiccups and that there, here and there is no bother. Like for me personally, I was a vegetarian for a good, good five or six years. Not militant, I did still eat the odd uh, steak and chicken and that, but it was just getting rarer and rarer. I wasn't forcing it on myself, and no one was forcing it on me, and I don't want to force it on anybody else. All I'm saying is that it is really easy to um, to eat well and feel good on it as well. I just washed me, no, I won't wash my hands, I'll just chop this over enough and keep yapping. 
um, you just look at stuff in a different way and you arm yourself with a knife and you chop some veggies up like this and you just make yourself some quality food you know man it's so great to be able to make to make your own food um, your family and your kids and stuff I mean you can go out and buy some potatoes look at some veggies and things you know what's going in it and half the time it is cheaper than buying all these pre-packed meals and stuff and you can often make some that's going to uh, last the next day as well maybe I mean rice keeps a little bit and pasta and stuff cold pasta ain't going to hurt anybody but they're just like all the recipe ideas you can come up with and don't worry about protein and that either because all what I'm doing here the onions, the peppers um, you've got the chickpeas and the hummus and the mushrooms and all these leafy baby greens here the black beans, plenty of protein in there, don't even worry about numbers all I can say with it is, I've been doing it now for well over two years and I go out and cycle on my bike a long way, I do some long rides, I did a 200 kilometer ride the other day a night ride, which I wasn't really lifting a finger to be honest, it was just a, just a cycle ride and uh, I'm not really fit at the moment or anything, but last year I only smashed out a 400 kilometer ride so all I can say is, with being like an athlete in that respect I, ain't gonna, I haven't got any issues with the protein or anything, you just get it in by what, what you're eating, the good foods contain all the proteins in the, in the correct amounts and what you don't use your body's just going to like get rid of because it's pure natural foods you are going to get problems if you start eating lots of um, animal products and like food like this you're going to be your body's not going to know what to be doing one minute it's going to be like trying to digest meat and then like veggies and that with it you just your metabolism your digestion is going to be all over the place and plus we haven't got the stomach acids anyway to break down meat because our body is an alkaline body, not acidic. We haven't got the, the acids to break it down. Again, all I can say is, proven, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not needing it. The amount of exertion I put my body through sometimes is unbelievable. And uh, even there's vegan bodybuilders out there and stuff. So, again, it's just proven. So it's, it's just not, it's a non-starter really. So um, I'm going to chop up these mushrooms now. I'm going to probably uh, let's put some water in there and get those on the go. I'm going to go for the old water fry. Just boil the water in the kettle already. So yeah, look, wholesome food, man. Rice is there just uh, ticking over. There's all the veggies in there. We're just going to have a really, really wholesome burrito. Nice bit of hummus and salsa there. Right, I'm just going to cut it in a minute and just chop up these mushrooms ready. I'll be back in a bit. So the mushrooms, water frying away, chucked in the onions, chucked in the peppers, chucked in the aubergine and just tossed in the mushrooms around the side there, just gently uh, boiling away. Not far now. Yum yum. Team, we're here. Tortillas done in the oven, as fresh as can be. Right, what should we do first? We'll spread a little bit of hummus on there. I mean, each one of these I'm going to make different anyway. And then we'll go for a bit of salsa. I've got six all together. They're only little ones. I'm sure I'll find room for them. So put some greens on. Bit of rice. I should have let that cool a bit actually. No, nay bother though. Nay bother. And then the beans, onions, aubergines, and red pepper. And we're gonna go with a bit of bar bit of barbecue sauce. No bother. The other one I got just like a cayenne pepper, hot sauce. There we go, man. These tortillas are not like huge, nevertheless. 
and then wrap up. My wrapping up is not brilliant, but you get the idea. It's not like I got one of those press things or anything. So there we go. Simple wraps. However you want to do it. Whatever you want to put in it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. If you do watch this video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Sharing a great recipe. I'm going to share many, many more when I discover them and I'll show you what I'm eating. So I uh, can inspire you as the wrap unfolds. Anyway, see you later. Bye.